So about two days ago, I pushed out a beta version of Snowbreeze that basically jailbroke 4.3 on a tethered basis. And what a lot of people have been wanting in their devices is actually enabling gestures. And the way of actually enabling it, and Apple permits it, is actually uh, plugging in your device into like your Mac and running Xcode. And also the, the latest version of Xcode costs $4.99. I've also heard that um, older versions of Xcode, you can also run them, put your device into a development state, and it still will work that way. But let's say you don't have a Mac, and you're on a PC, and you're jailbroken, and you want to basically enable gestures. Well, there's methods such as going into a plist, and then editing the values and all that, and then afterwards, you got gestures, but you don't have the actual option to enable them or disable them in the um, menu. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to show you guys that this is firstly on 4.3. just going to show you. There you go. 4.3. Pretty sure you guys can trust me on that. If not, there's even the FaceTime icon. Right, I'm about to even prove it with gestures. So right now you can see that in we're in the general tab. That's where the gestures option would be. That down here there's no gestures. All right. Now over here, I've got my MacBook opened up on Windows right now, and we're just going to replace this Springboard plist file. All right, and then we're going to respring. All right, now that the device is resprung. If we go to the settings tab, general, and you scroll down, oh look, now we have gestures. Now you can basically turn these on and off, and then notice how I can't do the gestures, and I'll turn them on. Now we can do the gestures. Um, the gestures involve four fingers, which is really actually difficult to do on this tiny screen. There we can have City on the dock down there, going up and down. And yeah, you can even go between apps with that. Turn it off if you don't want it anymore. And then boom, it's gone. So, what I'm planning on doing is actually pushing out another beta that will actually um, give you guys the option in the menu like that. So you guys can disable them or enable them directly from the menu. And if you're thinking that I already ran Xcode on this, there's no developer option down here in the settings. Alright, there you go. We'll see when this uh, next beta can come out. Also, on a side note, uh, Sork was silently pushing out a mobile substrate update that actually fixes the problems with 4.3. Um, you can read an article on it at Funky Space Monkey. They got a very nice tutorial over there. You can either install it through iFile, which is um, through a series of applications that you got to purchase in Cydia, or there's even free methods by um, transferring it over SSH and then manually typing commands in my terminal. But uh, yeah, until then, see you guys later.